So this is for all my sketchbook lovers. We are starting with creating the paper texture. Download the paper texture from Freepack. You import that image on here. You change the lemma to multiply and then you reduce the opacity. If you have watched my previous watercolor painting videos on sketchbook, you know how to do this. So that's going to be a step number one. Now step number two is obviously picking up the brush, which is wet frayed bristles. And this is my favorite brush for watercolor coloring on sketchbook so the first step is to always create the basic structure for the hair chunk and it's really easy you just have to create these C kind of shape make sure they overlap each other as you guys can see on the screen I'm just using this C shape kind of structure to create the whole structure for the hair now once you have that create another layer right underneath that first layer and here we are just filling up any gaps make sure you are reducing the opacity for the brush all right we're just we want to just fill up those gaps just that it should not be very very pigmented now once you have that base create a new layer above all the layers you have and start adding more hair strokes using this watercolor brush make sure the size of the brush is small and we are just adding more c-shaped hair strokes over the structure that we initially created and this is again follow the process as I am doing it right here follow the same steps as I am doing it on this video to make sure that you get the similar results all right so that's that now creating another layer and placing it right underneath all the layers that we have we are creating some baby hair around this hair chunk so you want to make sure you are decreasing the size of the brush for this because we are drawing baby hairs they should be thin and crisp and they should not be very prominent all right so that's what we're doing here that actually really gives that realistic hair kind of look so whatever you're drawing hairstyles or hair in general make sure you're adding some baby hair around the whole hairstyle now here i went back on the layer where we created those thin looking hair strands over the hair structure and i added more hair strands so it's the whole process is all about building things up all right so we are building the whole drawing up slowly so here i'm adding more hair strokes again in that c shape so that it's easier for me to do that so that i don't have to create one large stroke all right so that's what i did here now we are moving forward with the shading part and i am just going to be using the pressure sensitivity on my apple pencil to make sure that i don't need to use any smudge brush so whenever you want a really high pigmentation of the the color you're gonna put more pressure and whenever you want light pigmentation of the color you're gonna just decrease the amount of pressure you're putting on the screen and the transition from putting more pressure and less pressure onto the screen should be really really smooth just to make sure that you don't need any smudge tool because if the transition isn't smooth you are gonna end up with harsh looking lines and then you might need some smudge brush I hope this is making sense so play around just practice how to put more pressure less pressure and how to transition in between both in a smooth way so that's here that's what i'm doing here i'm just adding shadows on this hair chunk wherever i think the hair chunk is kind of overlapping another hair chunk i don't know how to explain this part but you just want to make sure that you're adding depth and shadow wherever you think it needs to have shadow in depth all right and now once i was happy with that i created another layer i changed the layer mode to color dodge i've not changed the color at all and i'm using the same color to create the highlights as well but because we have changed the layer mode to color dodge it's just gonna give this highlighted effect almost so i'm adding this color wherever i have not added any shadow or any darker color good thing about using a watercolor brush is that you actually don't need to use any smudge brush all right i have used this one brush only throughout the whole process and i didn't need to use any other brush now create another layer of with that color dodge layer pick up a lighter color this time and we're just going to add some little white dots over the highlights that we have created this is going to give the hair chunk this really shiny hair kind of look all right and that is what is actually going to make this whole hair drawing look realistic so that's how you create watercolor realistic hair on sketchbook it's really easy and yes the paper texture makes a huge difference so if you really 
really want your watercolor paintings to look like they are watercolor paintings you really like want to make sure that you are using that paper texture i actually went back and added more baby hair around the whole hair chunk because i was not satisfied with what i had created so again it's really simple just decrease the size of the brush and you just want to add some more baby hair around the hair chunk and you are done with your realistic looking hair painting on Autodesk sketchbook hello my procreate lovers so in this video i'm going to be using my own paper texture but if you don't want to buy that kit you can just download a paper texture from freepik and then you can just import that picture and change the layout to multiply and then decrease the opacity and that is just going to work uh, just as good as any other paper texture so again i'm going to be using my own brush but if you don't want to buy that you can use water blade from water brush set it's really good for watercolor paintings i really like their brush but for this instance i'm using my own brush called watercolor one from shikar the watercolor kit so this is the color i'm using which is kind of this desaturated dark brown color and the first step is to always create the basic hair structure so as you guys can see i'm using this c kind of shape to create this whole structure this way it's really easy this way we really don't have to worry about that one long stroke and because of which you know it actually kind of creates this bumpy kind of line which we are not looking for so just break it down into simple shape which is this c shape which i'm using right here in this video to create this basic structure for this drawing so we are using the c to create the basic structure now once you're done with that you create a new layer place it underneath this basic structure and we reduce the opacity of the brush and then we just gonna fill those gaps in like this also we are only going to be using this one brush only throughout this painting and we are not even going to be changing the color of the brush maybe towards the end when we are adding highlights but that's what we're gonna do right i cleaned up some areas with the eraser and yeah we're done now you want to create another layer and you want to start adding more hair strokes again we are going to add these hair strokes in that c shape only so that the style is consistent all throughout all right so that's what i'm doing i'm taking my time with building this up and it's all about building the drawing up step by step layer by layer all right so that's what we're doing here here, nothing special i just made sure that i decreased the size of the brush because i wanted to add some thinner hair strands as well and that is really really essential when you're creating any hair drawing and if you want it to actually look realistic now again i created another layer placed it right underneath all the layers that we had and i started adding these baby hairs around the whole hair structure this is really essential especially if you want your hair drawing to look realistic make sure you're adding baby hair all right that is really really important and to achieve that just make sure you're decreasing the size of the brush and that will just help us in creating baby hair now once i was happy with that you want to start with the shading part all right and we are doing it on the layer where we where we filled up the gaps here again i have not changed the color i'm just using the same color all i'm doing is i'm putting more pressure onto the screen wherever i want shadows and that is actually creating this darker looking color altogether so this is this step is really really essential like you want to add these shadows this actually makes the whole drawing look that much more you know realistic and as you guys can see i'm just only adding or doing this technique over the areas where i think that there should be some shadow but again we have not changed the color and that's the good part about using watercolor brushes is that you can just play around with pressure sensitivity to create shadows and highlights and here i created a new layer for highlights i changed the layer mode to add and again i'm using a lighter version of the color and i'm adding this color wherever i think light should be hitting this hair structure and that's how you create highlights you don't really have to worry about what shape because it's naturally just gonna blend in with the whole drawing then i created another layer and the layer mode is normal here you want to pick up white color and you want to add these little white dots over the highlights that we have added 
added all the hair this is just gonna make the whole hair look as if they are shining all right as if they're realistic all right that's the look we are going for at least i like really like that glossy shiny realistic look whenever i am creating hair painting digitally that's what i really really like so nothing crazy just add these little white dots over the highlights that you've created and that way you're just gonna end up with beautiful looking highlights on that hair and i then went back and just added some finishing touches i added more baby hair i added more highlights and that's it that's how simple it is to create realistic looking watercolor hair painting on procreate i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give this a try and tag me on instagram i would love to see that other than that i will see you guys in my next video